Hello and welcome to another Java tutorial. So in this quick video tutorial we're gonna learn about comments in Java. So let's get started. Now the very first thing I'm gonna uh, let you guys know that comments are not that useful but sometimes they are really really required. So what are comments? Comments are just uh, just some text which you want to put inside your code but you never want your compiler to execute those codes or compile those codes. As an example, suppose I have created a variable here called int age and I have put inside it uh, my age. So what happens is, uh, suppose uh, suppose someone else uh, just watches your program and he just can't think what this age means and why it is here. So you can, what you can do is, you can write a comment uh, after this variable declaration of this variable so that everyone who reads your code can understand this even you will forget about your code what you have written after a few weeks so uh, writing a comment beside everything it uh, always a good practice so suppose uh, I write here a comment that this declares the age of the uh, student okay so this comment will just this comment will just be very very useful to uh, you and everyone else who ever sees your code at any time so that they can understand what this does what this does so there are actually two different ways to write a comment in java so the very first way is to write two slashes so when you write two slashes and then after after that you write anything that becomes a comment and the compiler ignores that so let me go ahead and write here this is oops this is a comment so what happens is the compiler will ignore that and it will just run everything else and it will never run this or it will never even check this out okay because this is a comment and we don't want our compiler to be bothered with this and there's uh, another type of comment that's called multi-line comment so uh, in order to do that you just write a slash and then put a star and then you just put enter and with every line the star just automatically follows so you can write this is a multi line comment so what happens is uh, whenever you put um, whenever you want to write a lot of things uh, spreading multiple lines you want to use this multi line comment and whenever you want to uh, just write comments beside a variable or maybe a method or anything you just use this uh, single line comment as an example before the starting of the main method I can write a comment called the main method the main method may be known by everyone but suppose you create another uh, another method suppose I create a method and just name it method uh, suppose you create another method and uh, now whenever someone looks at it he doesn't know what this method does so what you can do is you can write before it that this method calculates the age of the student so what will happen is whenever after a few weeks you take a look at your code you don't have to r remind you don't have to call up what this method does you can just take a look at this comment and everything will be clear to you and whoever just checks your code out he will also understand what this method does so comments are very very useful and there's uh, another way you can use comments suppose in your program you wanna check multiple things suppose uh, first of all you wanna write suppose you wanna first of all do this is a non comment and suppose uh, suppose after some time you think that I want to do this I want to do uh, just system uh, just something else so you just comment it out and after some time you again think that no it is correct and then again you just remove the comment and it becomes the text again so this is a great way to debug and test so guys this was the very basics of comments in java uh, comments are not that much used but they are very, very useful if you use it correctly so that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something so please uh, subscribe and like please like the video if you liked it and thanks for watching